It's not just a home decor video. I'm gonna let you shop my home decor, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth. Thanks so much for dropping by. So we all know that I love to thrift and I love to use what I have thrifted in my own home to use for decor, to decorate, make vignettes, and those kinds of things. So today's video is a little bit different. You know how after you take down Christmas, your house just kind of looks bare and blah? Well, when I was taking down Christmas in the dining room, which is the area, if you've been to my channel before, you know that I really like to decorate that space. I love the furniture that's in there. I decorate with crates um, instead of furniture in the corner. But I use that space to really make vignettes to make a whole little area of home decor for the seasons. Well, after Christmas, I didn't really have anything to put there. It's not quite time for Valentine's Day and I really didn't know what to put there. So as I was bringing some things back that I normally put out, um, I saw my stack of plates. Now I've been collecting odd plates, uh, different vintage and antique plates, for about a year, Loris at Miss Damn Jewelry over in the UK has even sent me a few because I am going to make a plate wall. My idea is to fill up one of the walls that I have and let it go up over my double windows over there. Um, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. You know, in my spare time, I'll get it done, right? Uh, I was putting my stack of plates on the little buffet and I thought, you know what? There's no reason to stack these right here. They're beautiful. So I put on a tablecloth and I used my plate. And after I got everything together, y'all, I started pulling more things from my inventory and I love the way that it turned out. So what I thought I would do today is take you into the dining room and show you how I've used these odd plates, which now I'm thinking I might wanna put some plates up on the wall and decorate more with odd plates because one, they're cheap, and two, they're very colorful. You can change out the color themes. You can make it any season, um, and it's really, really pretty. So I am gonna take you in, and I'm going to show you how I put it all together. I do have a tiered tray in the center of the table, but what's a little bit different about this, it's not just a home decor video. Anything that I have used from my inventory that has a tag on it, if you see it in this video, I'm going to tell you how much it is. And down here on the screen will be a number. And if you want to claim this item, I'm going to let you shop my home decor, y'all, because a lot of the things that I pulled to create this vignette and this wonderful space for the month of January came from the things that I have thrifted. I have gone to estate sales. I have gone to auctions. I have gone to Goodwill. I have gone to um, antique stores. I have been gifted several things that I now am reselling here on YouTube or in one of my two vintage spaces. Again, I put it all together and I thought I would let you see how you can style some of your own vintage and antique things or how you can use vintage and antique items that you buy from resellers or out in the antique and thrift world, how you can style it in your home. It doesn't take a lot, but it really is pretty. Let's go in to the dining room and let me show you around. I am super excited about how this turned out, y'all. Okay, so here we are in the dining room. And if you've seen any of my videos or been to my channel before, you know this is the space that I love to decorate. The chairs came from Goodwill. The table is an antique table that someone was gonna throw away. Um, and even the little buffet piece over here is a piece that I was given and redid. Um, so not everything 
is going to be for sale, but I am gonna show you some things that are part of my inventory and you can actually claim them now by putting the number that appears on the screen in the comments below. And then you will send me some information like your first and your last name, your YouTube name if it is different, um, your complete mailing address as well as your PayPal email address. So again, I'll let you know what things um, are came from my inventory and are up to be claimed today. I have some really great pieces in here that I was able to put together to make this cute little vignette and decorate my dining room space. So let's start here at the table. Now, I absolutely love this table. You guys hear me say it all the time, but I cannot believe that someone was going to put this on the curb and look at the feet and the table legs here, this pedestal little foot there, and then of course my chairs that I got for $5 a piece at Goodwill. Now the tablecloth came from my grandmother. I am keeping that, but look at the detailed work in that. I don't know if that's tatted or crocheted or knitted, you know I don't know the difference. I do have a tatted piece on my bed, but it also has some linen and some embroidery in this. And I used this tablecloth in January because to me it looks like snowflakes. Does it look like snowflakes to anybody else or is it just me? Um, so here are some of the plates. I wanna show you some of the plates that are gonna go on my plate wall. And this is the plate that started it all. The story behind this plate is this plate came from my great grandmother's house. Now, is it a family heirloom? Absolutely not. It is gorgeous though. She got this at a yard sale, y'all. She used to love to go to yard sales and I would go with her very early in the morning. Um, this plate was my plate at her house and this is the plate on which I ate every time I went to her house. It says La Belle China. Um, you can tell that it's been heated because it is dark. Uh, this is a transfer piece here, but I absolutely love this piece. Um, and so this is kind of what made me want to start my plate wall. Now, none of the plates that you see today are going to be for sale, but I will have some plates in some upcoming sales that I have found, um, and they just aren't the size or the shape that I'm looking for now. So this is the plate that started it all. Um, I also have been sent some plates, like I said, from Dolores at Miss Damn Jewelry, and I have thrifted some plates, um, and they were not bought as a set, but I thought that this plate and this plate went very well together, so I added those plates. Um, over here, I do believe that Dolores sent me this one and then I thrifted this one. I kind of just put those together. I thought that was a pretty pairing. And then over here, again, I think that Dolores sent me this one and I thrifted this one. But I think that the roses kind of go together in this one, the coloring with the blue flowers and everything. Again, it's not a set, but I kind of think it goes together. So once I put these on the table, I really, really liked it. Now you will see, I think I have about six or eight of these. It's a cobalt glass with a metal base. Now this is a silver plated base here. And I did find some markings on this. Let's see if we can see that it says chromium LB plated. Now at this time I am keeping these because I just really like them, but I do have two other cobalt glasses that I am gonna be selling. Um, and I just put two of them out. I put one here and then I put one here. Now I really like this color combination. So one of the things about buying odd pieces and thrifting is if you don't like it, you didn't spend a whole lot. I mean, I wouldn't pay more than what, 50 cents, 25 cents for each plate, especially at garage sales, you'd be able to see them. So one of the pieces that I have hung on to, even though it's been in my inventory, is this Wexford Cruet bottle with the stopper. Um, now this is going to be $6 and I'll put the number on the bottom of the screen. It is a Wexford piece. It is absolutely beautiful. No chips or cracks. 
in this, love the handle. And again, it does have the stopper. Now the stopper for this one does have the plastic over that. Um, so it does seal pretty well. So this is the first piece that I'm offering to be claimed as I'm using part of my um, inventory to decorate a little vignette space. And this one is $6. Now, another piece that is also $6 is this cruet bottle. It's a different shape. Now, this one does not have the plastic on there. Um, the pressed glass is a little bit different in design. They are about the same height. This one has a little bit of weight to it as well as the Wexford. Now, I don't know who made this. Um, and I don't see any markings. So if you know something about this bottle, please feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what it is. But this Cruet bottle is also available for $6. So let's go to the tiered tray. I actually made this wooden tiered tray from two wooden charger plates and a candlestick. And I will link the video on how I prepped and created this tiered tray um, above because I didn't have a tiered tray and there were so many wonderful tiered tray collabs going on and I wanted to participate. So let me show you what's on my tiered tray. And also, let's see if there's any pieces uh, that are, can be claimed. So I'm gonna start right up here. I got this from the Dollar Tree um, and I love the white. In January, I think that blue and white are a really good combination. Um, and I'm gonna move this. This is a clock face that I picked up for myself at Round Top, um, and it was a meetup with Dee and Vinny and Katie and Martha and Tammy. So I will link that in the description above and below. And I got this for a dollar, and I really wanted it for like a January or New Year's type of um, assemblage. And I think that it looks really good here. So down here on the bottom is another plate that is hand painted and I'm gonna place that on my wall as well. And I'm using it as an underplate. Um, uh, this is the next item that can be claimed. Now this is a Fire King. There, it's upside down. But there is the Fire King mark here by Anchor Hawking. Um, and this is a milk glass uh, with a swirl texture and gold gilding. No chips or cracks on that. And it is $6. Put it right here on that blue plate. Put a little white bottle brush tree in there. And I leaned the clock face right in front of that. Now, this one is also mine. This is an Avon um, little glass carriage. It's the Cinderella carriage. And I bought that from another reseller. And quite honestly, y'all, I've had it so long, I can't remember. As well as this little cobalt um, perfume bottle here, Evening in Paris. I want to believe I could have thrifted it, but I think I bought it from another reseller. But these were going to go in my doodad tray, which of course I haven't done yet, but um, I thought they made great little pieces for a tiered tray. Now, if you notice, I just have used some white hydrangeas and a few blue pieces and some greenery to fill in the areas of my tiered tray. Now the next item that is available is an antique piece. It is a set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, here are the metal tops with the star cut out. Look at the scroll work on that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now the patina and the tarnishing is beautiful. This is a cut glass. Um, it is a little bit sharper than a pressed glass, but it is absolutely beautiful. I see no markings on this, um, and there is a salt and a pepper. They are exactly the same. The other one is right over here, um, and are antique English sterling crystal salt and pepper shakers, and these can be claimed for $20. These are $20 for the set of salt and pepper shakers. Another set that I have is this beautiful creamer. I have a cream and sugar. Um, this is a vintage set. It's a 1960s Arnart blue onion 
blue and white pottery. It is the creamer and the sugar. Now the sugar does have the lid. Here is the blue onion here. Um, and if you notice, it is in great shape. Um, these are absolutely beautiful. The whole set of these is gonna be $24 for the cream and the sugar. So let me show you the matching sugar that I have. Down on the bottom of the tiered tray, here is the blue onion design here, which was something new to me. I had not known about blue onion pottery. I believe I said it was out in the 60s, um, but here is the lid. I got these from an estate sale, and here is the sugar. They make a whole set of these, and it is really, really beautiful. Again, the set of the cream and sugar is $24. Now also on the top, um, Lovey and I collect Afro-Americana and this is a New Year's postcard. Um, I believe that it's the 1900s, yeah, 1907 out of Kentucky. Um, and this says, this is the kind of party I went to New Year's night, it was fine. Um, and then it has, would you like to go to another party um, with me and look how much fun these people are having like a revival party. It looks so much fun. A little white resin bird here and I really like that. This is just a piece that I had in my own home decor. Um, so I just added the birds for the new year. I kept some of my frosted trees out from Christmas to just add some filler spaces. Another postcard um, is a Happy New Year postcard. Now this one I think is from Texas, New Bronzeville, January 27th, but it doesn't have a year. Um, you can tell that it, well, it was from Seguin, um, but it doesn't have a year on it in the postmark. So I'm not sure, I can never remember what year they began putting the postmark on there, but I love their beautiful penmanship. What I loved most about this postcard is the snow and the ice, but the bluebirds, and I really thought that was cute. So this is from my personal collection, as is this little bird here. This is just maybe like a Kirkland's piece that I have gotten um, way back when, and I it actually shows up in several of my home decor pieces. So let me tell you another item that I know has a tag on it. I have kept these for many years. This is a set of Inesco Japan salt and pepper shakers. Um, these are the praying Dutch girls and this one says we give you thanks for all your gifts. This one does not have her stopper um, but there are no chips or cracks in this one and she does have a mate she does have a match, um, and this is the match to this one. Now, this one, I believe, does have its stopper. This one says, give us this day our daily bread. Yeah, this one has the stopper. Again, it's in excellent condition, and the set is $10. So if you are interested in these salt and pepper praying ladies, they are gonna be $10. And I did take one of my little plates that has the blue and the white um, in the back, just leaning it up against the um, post in the tiered tray and added a little bit of color there. So as of now, there's not a whole lot on the buffet that has a price tag. I think there's only one piece, but I do have some beautiful pieces. I was gifted the King's Crown glasses and I'll probably keep them through Valentine's Day and then place them in my booth simply because they're a little hard to um, ship. Uh, I think I have maybe $6 each on them, and I can't remember how many I have, but I did give a discount if they bought the whole set. This is a beautiful plate that Dolores sent me from the UK, and I kind of have all of the red things over here because this will be a good jump start and transition into um, Valentine's Day, but this is a beautiful plate that will also be displayed on my plate wall. Now, I do collect the clear glass cruet, and I have a lot of clear glass. I'm a big fan of clear glass. This is a pressed clear glass candy dish that my mother has had for a long time. Um, and so I do have a couple of the cruets and you'll see some over there that don't have the lids that I use for vases. Um, I thrifted this piece 
Um, and I got it for the blue and the white. I have no idea what it actually was or who made it. Let me see if I can turn it over and see if there's any marking on that. Um, that could be a W or for Westmoreland, but I, I cannot be certain on that. I just like the blue and the white of it for my January display. This is also one of my pieces, and this is a blue and white cow that I got from Mary at Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Y'all, she's got some great things and some great deals, so I love to go to hers. And if you notice, I'm just putting a little bit of blue and white flowers. This is a um, blue bonnet for the state of Texas. I also use my favorite flower, which is a blue hydrangea, and the white ones in there to add some little bit of color. Now, this hobnail here picture, this is from my great-grandmother's house, and it is a very thin piece of milk glass, and we um, have just kind of passed that one down. This piece is for sale. It's a very, very nice piece of glass. It is a Gregorian cut glass, circa 1800s decanter. Um, it does have its stopper. It is does not have any plastic or anything around it. This, I believe, is cut glass as well. It does have sharper diamonds diamond points here. Um, it's got some great design. It is a very thick piece of glass, as you can see, um, and it is a wonderful little piece. This piece is $25. Now, this is another piece that's going on my plate wall, but isn't it wonderful? Look at the colors in this. Dolores sent me this from the UK, and I'm not really sure if I want to use this on the plate wall or maybe like in a vanity. Um, I just would have to change some colors out, but you know, for this beautiful plate, I must just do that. Now, I always decorate my little crates here. I love the wood um, crate rustic feel. And up at the top, the only thing that is not for sale is this little swan with the crown. I believe that this is an Avon, and this is from Unforgettable. And I got this from Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living from a live sale for my doodad tray. Now, the two cobalt wine glasses, they're absolutely beautiful set of these is going to be $12. So you're going to get both of these um, larger wine glasses for $12. And the blue in these are absolutely beautiful. I love how that looks. I did not see any type of make or mark on these, but I certainly do love the color. Again, both glasses for $12. And then, oh, this has got to be one of my favorite finds in a long time. Um, this is a beautiful little, I guess maybe a Demi, I'm not sure, but it is marked Bermuda 1968. I, maybe it, they got it on a cruise or they got it as a gift. It is um, Kunst Bavaria. It is a Delft piece, number 1103 or pattern 1103. Um, and I want you to see the beautiful blue and white Delft uh, flower design with that gold trim. It is absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe that I actually found the cup to go with the saucer. It is a four-footed little demi-toss, I believe. Again, it's marked the same thing. So it is Bavarian, I believe. Um, and it is Delft blue, and the inside is gold. It is absolutely beautiful, and the cup and saucer is marked at just $12, so you can get the cup and the saucer for $12. Down here on the bottom, the only thing that is not for sale, of course, the Christmas tree or the tree now because there's no ornaments and the blue and white plate. The blue and white plate is going to go on my wall, but I have two milk glass vases here. Um, this one has a number on the bottom, but I did not see a maker. Um, and I believe, I have to look at the tag, y'all. It is going to be just $5 for this milk glass vase. And it says a vintage milk glass bud vase number 4094. Um, so if you know anything about that, um, 
then you know a lot more than I do, and I will be glad for you to leave me some information. Now, this is a thicker milk glass there. You can see a little bit at the top, but I do not say that that has a ring of fire. The other milk glass vase that I have down here is marked, um, and on the back it is marked, or the bottom, it is marked Hoosier glass. This is a vintage Hoosier white milk glass, number 4096. Um, and this one, you can see a little bit more of the opaqueness at the top, and it does have a more, I guess, flattened bulbous piece at the bottom with the ribbing in there, and, and this is just a beautiful vase as well, and it is $6. So the Hooser one is six, and the other milk glass is five. The only other piece that I have here is a vintage piece um, that was an Avon piece, but it is made by Fostoria. So Fostoria made some glass pieces for Avon. This is the Mount Vernon Blue Cobalt Glass Pitcher um, from Avon with the Washington Monument on there. Now there are absolutely no chips or cracks in I this. I want you to be able to see the monument that is there. It is a beautiful blue cobalt. Look at the diamond print down here. Then it has the ribbing. It is a pitcher. Um, I think this would be a beautiful vase as well. It is marked Avon on the bottom, but again, it is a Fostoria piece. And this piece is just $8. So if you're interested in this Fostoria piece for Avon that's in the cobalt blue, you will put the number that shows at the bottom of the screen for this piece. One of the last parts of the decor is going to be this set of rugged little wood boxes. They're wine crates. At the top is a picture that I painted. It was one of those paint with me classes where everybody's is supposed to look the same at the end. Well, Mine doesn't quite look like everybody's, but I do love what it says. Um, here's another one of my cruet bottles that I collect along with another January 1st postcard. I love the little baby on there. Um, so excited, bringing in good luck. And it says another year, another link to bind our friendship closer. And I really like that. So in keeping in line with the little new year baby, I do have my Cupid girl and she is dressed with her 2023 banner that I made with a little hot glue and some glitter and one of my little embellishments. And I think she is too, too cute. Now she is standing on some more plates and you can see that you can just add some plates, um, stack some different size of vintage plates, add something like that to it and you've got yourself a little vignette. Um, I also added this piece. Now this clock is for sale. Um, it is a hard case vintage wind up clock that has an alarm. I do have it set for 12 o'clock here. It is one of the West clocks. Look at the detail in that brass around the edge here. I have tested it, it does keep time, and the alarm does work on there. It has a white hard outer case, uh, back of this where it has the alarm. Um, it does come with the plastic case piece right here to protect the face. Um, and then the cloth and here. This vintage hard case uh, clock is just $15. Just $15 for this clock. Now on the next shelf, this is a set that I am struggling to sell y'all, but it is so beautiful. In the back, you'll see some of my clear cruets that I usually use um, as vases, and I probably need to put some few flowers in there. But this is a decanter and six glasses. It's mid-century modern. Um, each piece is marked with a made in Italy uh, sticker. The decanter also has the sticker on there. It does have a stopper that is the original stopper in there. There's no chips or cracks in there. This one does have the pour spout 
in the decanter, if you can see that. It is a beautiful blue color, and it does come with six of these little shot glasses, I think they're calling them. Um, and this set for all eight pieces, which is the bottle and the stopper, that's two pieces and the six shot glasses. This is $55 for this made in Italy decanter and six glasses. But let me show you, um, my mom for Christmas gave me a set of these wine bottle lights and I just wanted to show you how beautiful that looks. Um, and I have some other lights and so when I dim the lights a little bit, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But just one little string of lights in there highlights the blue glass color in there and I really think that's a beautiful set. Now down here on this shelf, there's only one piece that is for sale and that's the milk glass opaque um, white um, little, I guess it's a sherbet dish. I'm not really sure. I think it's perfect for ice cream, but it's got the grape um, leaf pattern. Now I just took a um, metal snowflake, a tree that I had out at Christmas and added a little decor to that. But I wanted to show you that it does have the grapes and the leaf pattern in there. I do not see any marking on the bottom or anywhere else. So could it be Westmoreland? Yes, it could. Um, if I am looking, I do not see like a ring of fire. It's pretty thick. Um, I can see a little bit at the bottom that you can see my finger right there through there. So um, it's very pretty. Now I've had this piece for a while and I've used it for a lot of different things, but it is $6. Also some more of my cobalt and metal wine glasses here. And I'm not really sure, is that like a, I don't know, maybe a cordial glass, but I'm not sure when I will sell them, but I will be selling them. Um, not right now, but I will be later. And so I think I have six of those. And then of course, another little white and blue plate that will go on my plate wall. Now the very bottom is a little milk glass vase. This one is $5. Now if I remember right, there's something about this one. It is marked CLG Company. And I think that it is on the bottom. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it. You see it, CLG Company. Um, it's marked that and it does have the ruffled top here along with the um, ribbing there. So I thought this one was beautiful and it is only $5. There are two more things that are for sale here and that is this blue ball jar. I don't think it's truly, truly vintage. It is $9. Um, it's just one that is a little bit different. It is a light blue um, ball jar and it was blue when I got it. Um, I am keeping the cobalt and the cremotion bottle in the back, and this was a gift from, I believe, Newton's Cupboard got me that for South Carolina 10. Now, this is really cool, y'all. Let me bring it to the table so it you can see. It is a wonderful little glass jar with this cute little colorful lid. Now, I've added a bit of tool just to dress it up, but this is a larger jar, and it has some amazing little buttons in there. These are all vintage buttons. There are plastic buttons, there are coated buttons, there are metal buttons, um, jacket buttons, shirt buttons, all kinds of different buttons in there. Even have some wooden ones. This jar is absolutely packed full of buttons um, and it's been really cool. I've had several button jars and they have all sold. This large button jar full of vintage buttons is $15. Okay, y'all, the last thing that I wanna show you is um, something that I crafted. I got crafty right after Christmas when I came back from vacation and I needed something on my windows, but I wanted something a little bit different. And I thought January and snowflakes, but I have taken an old book and used the pages of the book to create a snowflake and um, added a little bit of 
um, different textures, which is paint and glitter, different techniques. I've got big ones and little ones. And in a following video, so make sure to click that notification bell so you will know when I post a video like this one or the follow-up to this, which is how to make these awesome little snowflakes. Now I'm going to be using old book pages from a book that I was crafting with and I had some extra pages on here, but we are going to make a few more of these to fill up the window. So if you see, I would like to put a little one here, maybe a little one here, and maybe two little ones here. Um, and I would also like to put two little ones here and maybe one more over there. But I've made them large and small, all different designs, and we are going to craft together to make some more of these to fill up my window. But I wanted to show you something really cool um, just to give it a little bit of ambiance that I have done with some more of those wine bottle uh, lights. Okay, y'all, so I have turned the lights out and shut the blinds, but if you see, I just have one strand behind each window, and I think it gives it just a little bit of light. Every once in a while, they will flicker. I didn't want too much, but I did want a little bit to highlight the snowflakes on there. With the lights out, you can really see how beautiful this blue decanter set is with the lights in there. So that's it, y'all. Thanks so much for touring my little home decor, my little January in-between decor that I have filled up my little dining room with. Using some of my own inventory. And again, if you're interested in claiming anything that I said was part of my inventory, um, you will use the number that I put on the bottom of the screen for that item, and you will send your information right here to scprincess1 at comcast.net. Again, that's your first and last name, your YouTube name if it is different, a complete mailing address, and your PayPal email address. I just thought this was a lot of fun. I'm really excited about how this all turned out, how it all came together, and I'm super excited to be able to show you how to style your vintage odd pieces to make a beautiful little vignette. So if you're not already part of my YouTube family, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Come and join us. We have a lot of fun here. We are going to be crafting together to make some snowflakes. Every once in a while, we'll bake together, but we thrift a lot together, um, and we have thrift hauls and live chats and that, so I'd love for you to join us. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out to let me know that you have enjoyed it. Until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.